Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today I wanted to tell you all about power within Icarus. So, right now I'm doing the payday extraction mission, which has brought power to light, obviously. Get it? And we've got two different power sources to choose from. We have a solar panel here, and underneath my stairs over here is a biofuel generator. So let's talk about the differences between these two that are 100% known, and then our guess is on it because... The game, as of course, because it's a it's it's a fully released game, doesn't actually tell you the details about full power sources between two objects. So, let's talk about the biofuel first, and then the solar panel. I want to first start off by telling you that these are very end game things. Okay, I do not suggest that you do this in easy missions unless you're just bored and are trying to have fun. Okay, so first things first, you have to get up to tier four. So you got to be the right level for that. Second, you need to build a fabricator. <laughs> Easier said than done. To make a fabricator, you need 60 electronics, which is a lot of gold and a lot of copper. That's 60 gold bars and 180 copper bars, okay? Keep that in mind. And obviously, concrete. So then, obviously, you need to have your concrete mixed in your cement um, furnace in Tier 3. But I assume if you're working on Tier 4 stuff, you're going to understand how to do tier three stuff. So we're just going to work on tier four today. Okay. So then we're going to come down here and we're going to get the biofuel generator. You're going to get the electricity tool and you'll also get the solar panel. Okay. But like I said, we're going to talk about biofuel first. So you're going to get the biofuel generator and to make this. We're going to need 12 electronics. So 12 gold bars and 36 copper plus another eight for the actual copper, 20 steel. The other thing consequential. That'll build us our generator. We're also going to need an electricity tool. This is what you need to connect your generator to whatever you are powering, whether it be an electric furnace or wall lamps, etc. To make that, 8 gold, 20 copper, 4 carbon fiber. Not terrible, but not great either. This is considered infinite. You do not need multiple of these. You can use these to connect infinite amount of resources together. Okay? Only one. Now, to make biofuel... To use a biofuel generator, we need to make and produce biofuel. So we need to go back to tier three. Okay. And we need a biofuel composter. <clears throat> With this, pretty cheap. 20 iron, 8 copper, 12 concrete, 20 steel screws. And then the biofuel cans, 25 iron. So you're going to need to make these, okay? Now let's talk about producing biofuel for the generator, okay? So we're going to come over here. This is our biofuel composter. So if you look inside here, you can see the recipes here. It says it takes, um, you know, you can use meat, sticks, cooked meat, wood, or fibers. I suggest either, um, I, I suggest sticks, honestly, because you can just go cut a couple trees down, use the carpentry bench to turn all the wood into sticks, and then come in here and you can also use said sticks to make the tree sap. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Um, this is a guess. But it seems to be roughly a hundred tree sap makes one full biofuel can here. So what that would mean is that would either be a hundred wood, five hundred sticks, two hundred and fifty cooked meat. I don't know for sure on the cooked meat. I didn't bother testing it because it's so little. And then a thousand fiber. So that's why I use sticks, because if it's going to be a hundred wood, well, I can turn a hundred wood into a thousand sticks. Take 500 of those sticks to make sap. Take the other 500 to make sticks. And then I'll have a surplus of both materials anyways. So that's why I use sticks. And you can see I've got like eight or seven biofuel cans in here. What? Yeah, I've got eight in here and I think I have one on me or maybe I got one sitting around the house somewhere. So we're pretty stacked up, but that's how that works. And it takes roughly... I think it's like eight and a half to nine minutes. Didn't time it, but it seemed about nine, eight and a half to nine minutes to make a full can of it just sitting here working. So keep in mind to make one can of fuel, it's going to take you about nine or ten minutes. Then once you have that can of fuel, you would take it with you and you'll come over to your biofuel generator. Make sure it's sheltered. And then I would come in here. You would just drop it into the fuel and then you just hit activate. Now, obviously, I don't have fuel because I'm not wa I don't want to waste my biofuel. I've got other things to do. But you put in there, hit activate, and it'll turn on. Okay. Then we'll take our electricity tool, which is this bad boy, and you would just hook it up to this here. I've already got it hooked up, so it's not going to let me do it again. 
but I have it hooked up. I had it over here originally, but then I found out I had to move it. Like I could take from this point here and, you know, connect it around and do whatever. I'll connect it back to itself. So you would just connect it to there. And then I have it running into the house. And you can see it's kind of coming into the house over here. And then it's coming down to my electric furnace. Okay. So it's just, you know, bada bing, bada boom, like that. You would just click on this. It's already connected, so I can't. Maybe I can connect it here. Boom. Like, look at that. Boom. Connected. This doesn't require power. It's got power now. You want to power my icebox? Boom. Power. Doesn't need it, but it's got it. So that's how that'll work. And then you would come in here. You would start it up and hit activate. And that's how power works. Okay. So the cost of that, it's not high. There's a lot of time into producing biofuel. Okay. You need to make all that biofuel and then you need to keep it running to use your stuff. So if you've got wall lights that you're trying to have lit 24 seven with biofuel, it's going to cost you some time and materials. Now let's talk about the solar panel. The solar panel is much easier. It doesn't require any of that. It's natural, but obviously when it gets dark like this, it doesn't work. So for instance, if I come up to it now, you'll notice when we first looked at it, that light was green. Now it's off. That means there's no sun. No sun means no power. Look, no sun. There's two moons, three moons, but no sun. So that means no power. All right, so you, wouldn't, you won't be able to use anything at night. That just means you need to sleep and wait for the next day. However, it's more, much more expensive. So if we're just going to talk about the generators here, the biofuel generator is, uh, let's say, 20 steel, 8 iron, and 12 electronics. To make the solar panel, 30 electronics, some screws, 60 glass, and 18 composites. The big difference here is that if you don't have an electric furnace and a material processor made don't and you don't plan to don't get a solar panel because essentially you don't need any of that to make a biofuel generator you do need it to make a solar panel because you need composites to make composites you have to have this material processor which is 80 electronics and then you need to cook that bio that composite paste that you make there in the electric furnace which is another 60 electronics and 80 concrete and 30 steel. That's a lot of materials. And if you haven't gotten to this point yet and you don't understand that how much materials and time that is to get all that, you're just going to want to use the biofuel generator. If you have no plans to use this, don't bother with the solar panel. Just get the biofuel generator. It's literally going to save you 80, 60, 140 electronics which is 140 gold ingots and what 280 420 copper ingots that's a lot of material all right so that's what you're gonna have to do there to make your solar panel so let's say you do do it now let's go look at composite paste right here composite paste we need what 18 right 18 composites that means 18 paste that's 36 iron ore negligible 18 silica and organic resin negligible and then another 18 gold ore at this late in the game if you had gold ore i guarantee you made it all into bars so you got to go find yourself one more gold node to make sure you can make some paste so there's a fresh tip for you as well save your gold ore unless you need bars don't preemptively make your gold bars unless you know you're going to use them so that's how you would make a solar panel and then you would just do the same thing it's nighttime and then you just find yourself a nice spot. I obviously suggest something elevated and pointed towards where the sun will mostly come up. Now, for my people out there, if you know which way the sun rises, obviously it's going to come rising over the west, set in the east here. So ma the majority of the day, this is going to capture the sun when it is in sight. Now, obviously it's 7 a.m. right now, so there's no sun, which means there's no light, which means there's no power. So... This is a midday kind of thing, like at about 10 a.m., I believe, is when the sun, or maybe even 9 is when the sun really comes out over the mountains. Well, from that way. And it'll start to work appropriately. So you can move it around daily, or you can get multiple solar panels. Again, very expensive. So I only suggest this if you're going to have a lot of stuff running at all times, whereas with the power generator, you just turn it on and off when you need it. It works all the time. Now, you'll see here that this thing provides 2,500 power. The solar panel does not tell you how much power it, it provides. So we have no way of guessing. 
I just know for a fact that it provides more than this. I don't know exactly how much. But this here, the electric furnace, requires 2,500. Now, I believe these are the only two items in the game that actually state how much power they use and is required and puts out. But nothing else does. Like your wall lamps, they all require power, but they don't state how much, which is frustrating because this is a completed game. So do take note of how much power you're going to need. Two generators will do almost everything you need, but you can also turn off your electric furnace and then it'll stop using that power as well. So you may just have to divert power, but otherwise you should be all set. Now, if you're finding this power video useful, do hit that like button down below, please. And also leave me a comment letting me know what you prefer for your power source and why. Also, if you're new here, do hit that subscribe button as well as you get back for that sweet, shabby content. So for a quick overview and review of these here, for your biofield generator, you'll need your generator, you'll need your composter, and a tin, and then obviously some components to actually produce biofuel. Pretty sustainable, works over time, not the hardest thing to do. 12 electronics. Make the solar panel, this will be 30 electronics, plus another 140 electronics to produce a material processor and an electric furnace. Now, you'll probably be using these two anyways if you're worrying about power. So maybe going solar is your best bet. But remember, there's the sun. What, why is that? I don't know. Why is it over there? So now you can see the lights on. It means it's getting sun. Home of the rising sun. Home of, did, I say the, did I say that backwards? I definitely said that backwards earlier. But yeah, so now you can see we've got power from there going. If I turned this on, we'd have power from there going. So there's just a huge cost difference between the two. And if you only need a little bit of power, I definitely suggest just using the biofuel generator. It'll it'll be quicker to establish. And the cost is much less. And it's for now, it's my preferred method. But as I get late game, like I built one, I'll definitely be using a solar panel for the late game. All right, guys, like I always say, if you found this useful... Make sure you hit that like button down below and do hit subscribe. Get back for all that great Icarus content and other great games we put here. But otherwise, this has been Shabby Do and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.